beautiful. My wife always hates it. I hate my wife. <laughs> I love right? those. I know. Everybody, we are so excited to introduce Andy to you from Midwest Performance. What's up, Andy? Good seeing you, my man. Man, we just finished up an amazing weekend at Checked It Out Chicago. How did it go for you over there? It, it was. It exceeded our expectations so much, and we were really humbled by what people were saying about it. Just people were saying how it just really went over the top. Uh, we, we got uh, hit it out of the ballpark. We got. Really, really great feedback. So it was just yeah. an awesome event. And we got totally blessed by unbelievable weather. Yeah. And man, it was, it was wonderful. Very professional. I mean, that was probably the, the single word I would use to uh, say how the event went. It just was, everything was just without a hiccup, just very clean and... It was L train. There goes the L, right? <laughs> yeah, so so that's, that's the Blues Brothers movie L. Okay. It's, literally, it's the same L that goes by in the Blues Brothers movie. Okay, so, nice. I so it's very authentic movie. Chicago. So uh, for me, it was just done to a very professional level, and um, you know, it's I can't wait to see what you guys do with the next year. So well, that's what we were, really, we were really shooting for, but also with the the really grassroots passion that the show came out of. So we wanted that to come across, and and I really feel like the vibe was absolutely right on. Uh, yeah. Tons and tons of effort, a great team. I mean, I can't give enough credit to all the other people involved in it. Sure. But uh, yeah, you know, a huge success, so Thanks. my hat's off to you. Thank but you very much. But of course, much. at the event, you know, your car was a very pronounced, very loud car. <laughs> but we had to do a, uh, just a feature on this just to figure out what's going on with this car. Yeah. So if you can, give us a, a lowdown on a little bit of the history and how long you've owned it. Sure. So um, I bought this car in uh, spring of 2016. It's really kind of a funny story. A friend of mine who's also a, um, a customer of our shop and a total gearhead, uh, he calls me in the morning and he says, hey, there's this car, it's been on eBay, didn't sell, been on Craigslist, didn't sell, it's back on eBay, I really think you should buy it. And I took a look at it and it was a mess, I mean a real mess, but it was super cheap and it was an air cool. So I took a shot, I bought it, it was outside of Milwaukee, I ran up there with a trailer, picked it up. Um, when we got it down here, uh, I. The, the paint was much worse than I thought, so we ended up stripping it down. We sent it out to our body shop that we work with, stripped it down to bare metal, and found that this entire driver's side door had been hit and it was all Bondo, right? Wow. So, took it to a bare metal repaint, um, one of my favorite colors, Adriatic Blue. It's a Porsche factory color. Um, and then the, the engine was like in five cardboard boxes. Wow. One of the things that we really liked about this car in buying it was that it was missing so much original stuff. I didn't feel like I had to bring it back to original. So it kind of gave us a lot of freedom to do what we wanted. Yes. So if you just take a look inside, I mean, there's no HVAC, there's no radio, there's no wipers, right? So um, got it back, it sat in the corner for like nine months of the shop, and finally I said, this thing's never gonna get done if we don't put a goal on it. So it was July of 2017, and I said, okay, the goal, guys, is we're gonna get this thing done uh, for DRT 2018, which is first week of February, and we busted on it. Uh, engine rebuild, um, 2.7 out to a 2.8. It's actually all numbers matching. Wow. So we kept all the, the case, even though it's magnesium, which kind of sucks, but um, did a full engine rebuild, uh, took off the fuel injection, went to uh, PMOs, uh, put electronic ignition on it. Um, so kept a lot original, but then bumped it up a little bit, right? So it was really a team effort, and uh, as luck would have it, of course, like 90 minutes before the truck showed up, we had to strip the entire front suspension because we had a broken torsion bar bracket that oh, we had wow. to braise up. So it was a mad scramble, got it done, got it on the truck in uh, like February 1st of 2018, got it down to DRT, showed it, took second place in the Outlaw uh, nice. class. I just drove it back from Miami, it was down there for about six months after this year's DRT, 
And I drove it back uh, three days, 1,600 miles, did Tail of the Dragon with it, and it's just been, it's been a blast ever since. Did you uh, do the Tail of the Dragon with anybody in particular, or did you just do it by yourself? Just did it by myself. I had a buddy who was going to meet me uh, in North Carolina. I was going to pick him up. Uh, we couldn't make it work. As it turned out, it was great because I think if you ride passenger and Tail of the Dragon, Ooh, yeah. you get motion sickness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you got the car, um, drove it through Tail of the Dragon. Of course, it was probably amazing. Yep. And, um, but this car, it sounds just insane. Yeah. So where did all of that information like come from in terms of the, the power? So we got it back from Taylor the Dragon and um, it had, had a couple issues with the engine, dropped the engine, got them fixed up. And when we were about to put them back, I said, you know what, guys, let's, let's leave the, the standard exhaust off. We had these diffusers sitting here that were stuck on some cherry bombs. And I said, drop the, drop the glass pack cherry bombs. Just put the diffusers on straight pipe it. Let's give it a shot, right? So we gave it a shot. We coated the, the diffusers. And as soon as I started it up, I was like, oh, this is, this is the sound. And everybody just raved about it. It really, it sounds really good, straight right, pipe. Right. So, yeah. Definitely, let's check out the engine. Yeah. Yeah, so um, didn't want to make it like a jewel box, but wanted to clean everything up, obviously. So took the engine completely apart. Media blasted everything, uh, coated a lot of stuff in clear heat resistant because I like just the bare raw metal look. Original shroud, uh, like I said, we went with the electronic ignition back there, the XDI, which has been fantastic. This chassis has over 150,000 miles on it and it had the original distributor, which uh, was completely worn out. And for dependability and tunability, I decided I wanted to go with the electronic ignition, and that has just been fantastic. Okay. The PMOs, I mean, they just look great, they perform great, and I tell you what, the other thing is dropping that exhaust and straight piping it, this car is, was, it was quick, because it's super light, it's so much faster now. I mean, it's just really, it's just begging to be flogged. All right, oh, so look at this. Nice. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, my choice, uh, it's, of, of all things, it's actually a Ralph Lauren fabric. Nice. <laughs> but nice. Uh, yeah, I really like the, the uh, I like the layout. Um, I really like the Spartan look and uh, no back seats. It's just really stripped down, very, very basic. What'd you do with the shifter over here? That, it, that came with the car. Okay. Um, it, Is this it the whole Wevo setup? No, okay. no Wevo. It's a standard, standard shift mechanism um, and it works great so I didn't even want to it, it doesn't even need a short shift right yeah but you can see the odometer right I mean that's it's a hefty number of miles and uh, the door is still shut like a uh, brand new you know air-cooled 911 so. beautiful yeah all right well I love how nice and clean it is out here. With the, this is all the RS uh, interior. Yeah, package. it's yeah. Again, it's the uh, it's the carpet set and everything. I've thought about when we finish this car. Um, as I said, it was a mad scramble. I always I always make fun of those TV shows with the fake drama. Yeah, yeah. The, of but course, yeah. it turned out to be real drama getting <laughs> the car ready to ship. So um, now, about a year and a half on, I'm looking at things that. I'm, I'm gonna wanna change and do to it. Um, I do, I have to put on some wipers because I did drive through some super heavy rainstorms in uh, Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess it gets sketch a bit. But right next to the windshield and that. that. Sweet. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's do, uh, I'll, I'll ride along, I'll jump in with you. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Now 
we're getting into the brewery district, there's Goose Island Brewery. There's about five uh, beer breweries right in this immediate area. I know it's gonna be, I'm going to have to at some point go back to some type of a silence or setup, but I'm gonna miss this sound. <laughs> Sounds amazing, drives great. Um, I can't wait to see what you do with it next year. It'll yep. be that much more amazing. You said suspension work. Yep. Um, and then also, we'll have to do something on this next year. Yeah, but, so uh, uh, yeah, this is actually a little bit of a work in progress. This is overspray. It was originally Ravenna Green or Ravina. I'm not sure which one is the right. proper pronunciation, but it's an unbelievably gorgeous green, and someone oversprayed it with this yellow. So I'm thinking about taking it down to bare metal and doing an original repaint. Do you have a sample of like yeah. any door jams? That little spot. Oh, that's there. interesting. Right? It's a it's really a sought after color and it's really very very nice. Andy, hey, thank you very man. much. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, it's I've awesome. enjoyed it. I can't wait to what you guys do next year. And, we appreciate uh, the support yeah. from all our out of town people. Um, it's just great having you in, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Until next time. Absolutely. All right, guys. Check you out on the next one. Peace.